What's going on, guys? I am going to just do a creative spur of how to get clients, how to creatively follow up, and just kind of give you guys some ideas. I'm here with Alexis. She's trying to start her, or she is starting her messaging bot group for company business. And she's sending messages right now to potential business owners. And I'm helping her kind of with that. So I figured it'd be a good time to kind of like do some, kind of some scrubbing, I'll call it. Just like finding people what to look for. Um, and like hiking, like, I mean, you could really use this for any business, social media, chatbots, consulting. So um, I'm just going to jump into it. First thing, I'm using Loom here in the top right corner. This is what's allowing me to screen record it. So it's pretty efficient for those of you that are. Um, well, let's just start with that, right? So um, you could utilize this software to immediately create audits for businesses. So um, let's do like some restaurants. Um, so let's just kind of like, so immediately like what my brain sees is like right here, like, okay, the Rookery, Ron Henson, like one of my friends on Facebook, like immediately, like I think of like how I could message this business and like utilize like my friend on Facebook being there and like, like basically kind of going to their thing and saying, you know, like I can already use that context to add it to my message because there's some chance that maybe they know him in some way or, you know, there could be connections. So all of those things you have to use when you're, um, you know, going through a business or whatever. So first thing I'm doing, like she would probably obviously send him a message. So, mm. um, Okay, so maybe there'll be, there will be a response. Um, but I would just say that's not even a good quite like mm -hmm. what kind of food. Like you need to, when you're building stuff for businesses, like you want to be smart. Like why would somebody ask what kind of food you serve when the button could just say, want to see our menu? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so here we are. Me as the social media, they're not running any ads, so that's kind of what I would be looking for. Um, but I would for sure go right into their photos and videos, like for sure. So I could already see how, you know, you could say, hey, have you ever thought of doing a Taco Tuesday promotion on social media? Hey, have you ever thought of um, inputting all your on tap beers inside of your Facebook Messenger? Um, okay, so they don't really got, it's not a good, um, let's see though. See, this is where you can like connect, see if they've tagged anybody. Who's this? Do you guys know who this is? Do you know how this is? Yeah. So you can right click this and search Google for this image. I may need to duplicate this tab so that I don't lose this tab. So these are all like basic tools that. So let's see if it shows who this guy is. See, Chris Cornell. See, so you can find all this stuff is data. Like, this is what it all comes down to. Like, how much can you talk to people about? So, like, okay, now you know your friend um, has been there and they posted something about Chris Cornell. So, if you really wanted to get this client, um, you could buy them a Chris Cornell album and send it to them and be like, I don't know, but th these are things you can use to like, if you want something, you can use the tools. Look, they like prints. 
They're like knots. Like I could send them a video of me rapping knot. Like it's all about connecting. It's all about like using these this stuff that they're putting willingly. See, now you're getting people. So who are these people? See, who's this? So this guy's probably connected in some way. Obviously, I didn't choose this business. It's probably not the... But see, like, you could friend this guy. I'm not saying this is your ideal client. I'm just saying this is how I've done what I've done. It's like you're just connecting dots. So you're looking for... Oh, here's another thing. You can... Oh, right there. You got nine potential people. Hey, boom, friend, 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 you get one. Hey, I noticed you were on the Rookeries page or the Rockery, however you say it. What's your favorite thing about them? Boom, go message the Rockery. Hey, I messaged David that liked one of your photos. He told me the favorite thing he liked was your on tap beer. Have you guys thought of doing a promotion every Sunday for that type of beer? Dave commented twice. See, so look, boom, who's this person? Who's this person? Okay, so you can kind of go forever, but they actually have a lot of different people on here. Um, you can see what they've tried that's worked well. You could see what they've done that failed. This one did better than this one. So you could say, hey, I went back in your post um, in 2014 and you you put a picture of 12 of your, your beers with prices. It got a lot of likes. You should do some more of that. And I'm like, who's this dude? That's cool. Thanks. Like, okay, it's a lot of different people. Um, Yeah, it's all about just gathering information that you can use. You can find what people value. You can see what's important to them. You can look, you can find people that have left reviews. Who's this guy? See, so that's very like, it's a music culture. It's like rock and roll, um, kind of that underground feeling, beer, that whole thing. I'm not saying this is like, the type of people you want to go into but literally what you're seeing is just like what I would process naturally like in my brain see like just family fun restaurant food is delicious and fresh big assortment hey like the rookery I see you got yeah 207 reviews um what I went ahead and did is compiled a list of them and made them into a cool graphic. And I think they'd be really valuable if you put them as a uh, automated thing on your messenger, our testimonials. That's cool. See, so it's like, how can you go like on the side of what you're really trying to do so that people don't just, hey, do you have a messenger bot, I want to sell you, this is my price. You want to just like, like this is how you actually sell people is because they don't really know, but I'm putting in time right now and I'm actually being interested in what their culture's like, what makes their customers happy and like how I could actually bring value. So once you like actually try to understand someone's business, they like, they'll value it. So community. So yeah, like I said, and then I can met this person I sold Cutco to. So I could literally message him and say, Hey, I saw you. Um, you visited the rookery and I'm building now my social media business. Like, um, so he went like a long time ago, but, um, do you still go there? Is it like, and I could, like, I could even, this person, like I said, I sold Cutco to, so I could even get him a gift card. Like, just use all the stuff that you have to, like, just, you can create anything. It's, like, literally insane. So, 
Okay, so let's do another one. Well, we could see their website here. Okay, no pixel. For those of you that don't know it already, you just go to Google and type uh, Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension, and that will basically fire when um, you know somebody has a pixel. So some of you are like, "Well, what is it going to look like?" So I'll just show you. So there you go. See that? Then you can like track it. Anyway, so there's they don't have one restaurant. So the website, I mean, if I came here, what am I supposed to do? You know, I, there's nothing to click. How do I? So there's like for those of you that don't know what to start, I mean, it's like it's almost harder deciding which one to start than, than it is to actually figure out how to do it. You could easily make them a website. You could make them a messenger bot. You could run Facebook ads for them. You could probably do graphic design for them. Um, you could probably, yeah, you could probably do videos. But only try and solve one problem. When you're starting out, just pick pick a few, test them out, see which ones you like, and then just stick to it. Don't like try to do a website and their social media and their this. So, okay, so there you go. You kind of see just a live audit of just how I would see it. So, okay. So, this is them, right? Yep. Okay, look, so I don't know if she did this. I'm just saying what I would do. Okay, 12 other friends, I would, immediately reach out to some of them if I really because see this is the thing when you're starting your own business you decide if you're going to get the deal or not it's not really based upon them it's only a numbers game on who's going to say yes but the more effort you put in it's not like school it's not like if you do really well like studying and you actually learn and then the questions are completely different it's like if you message these people, if you start like interacting with them and you actually figure out what they like, how many times they've been there, and you send them a message, maybe they won't respond, but you start using that information to like send audits like that, you will get, you're going to get somebody. So it's all about effort. Like, so I would immediately message. And I would twist it. So she's an agent, I think. So I would twist it as like, look, I'm do real estate lead generation. And like I could twist it and be like, hey, um, Rosalind, reaching out to you because I saw you had vi uh, visited Nuno's, my girlfriend starting a chatbot business and I'm trying to help her with it. Um, so we kind of wanted to see or she didn't have any friends that had visited. So I said, I would go and check for her, see if I did. Um, what did you think? Why did you like this place? How many, whatever. But like, it's all, it's just, that's what it comes down to. So I could message her, get some information, use that to message them and say, Hey, you know, um, I reached out to my friend. She said she loved it because of this, this, and this, we have to get this, um, on your chat bot. And that's one yeah. thing I've noticed that, that has helped me do really well is when you like talk about like what they need to do, cause you're trying to help them like as almost like you're part of the team, yeah. like people love that. Like if somebody came up to me and be like, Hey dude, I was checking out your, this thing and that thing, like, you know what we need to do? We need to get this, this, and this, and, and this. And then I'm like, well, how much does it cost? Like, that's how my mind works. So business owners are like, dang, they took initiative to like check all these things out and tell me what I need to do, what the plan is, and they can do it. Like, that's how you, that's how you start to get people. Is when you like 
get people to buy in for like, hey, look, um, you know, this is what uh, I'm, I think we could do, whatever. So let's just kind of go through here. So this is probably the guy, some, somebody hears who you've messaged, guarantee it. Maybe not this specific yeah. photo, but somebody's here. I think you can actually, I actually think right here. It's this guy, I think. I guarantee you it's that guy. He's in two of those photos now. But see, it doesn't matter. You can't, you could be like, hey, dude, do you own Nunos? Like, right. no. Do you know who that, like, just, it doesn't. Right. You can't overthink, you know, see, and then she knows three of my friends. Right. And then you just start, and then before you know it, you're friends with the owner, and then you're just. Whoa. Oh, it, it synced up. Like, oh, freaky. Yeah, that was weird. Or maybe that would have been super weird if they were like business partners. <laughs> like, like, go visit the rookery. No, but I know that because I actually did an audit for this business for you. And oh. I found out that the guy that owns this place is the son of the people that own Euro Cafe. Oh, so sure. that was pretty interesting. So, like, you could hack that and go into your old cafe and take pictures, send it. Hey, yeah. I thought, I don't know, but you can just, that's all it really comes down to. Right. So, just kind of looking. All kinds of stuff, but you can really just see, like, what. It's, I think, it's oh, in. no. Yes, it might be. He's younger. Yeah, that's probably him. Yep, that's him. I recognize his face. See, so this is the guy. Yep, that's him. So, see, watch. I'm going to show you how I'm going to find this guy. I Googled him. You found and when him? it came up. Oh, so you know who he is already. Yeah. But if you didn't, um, for somebody that's watching, you could Google him or. Um, yeah, I just Googled owner of Nuno's Bistro and Bar, and then um, I was able to find out. So, yeah, there's that. Let's see if the running ads are probably not. Most restaurants I've noticed are not. I've only um, ever come across one restaurant that yeah. was running ads. So then here's their website. Um, picture sucks. So bad. Yeah, old, outdated. Using so, Yelp for reservations. Should be using Open Table. Look. Oh, I thought that was um connected from the uh. That's a guy. Message. The grocery. She's from the six figure messenger name. Oh, cool. Even in Gadzi's group. That's where I'm sharing this fire from for you guys. No, he didn't teach any of this fire. I'm telling you guys, this is like the actual stuff. You guys need to actually like. Oh. Weird. Related pages. Yeah, see, so you could trace, you could trace all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Euro Cafe is across the street from my house. That's why I was significant. Oh, so now everyone's going to know where you live. <laughs> there are so many houses. Okay. <laughs> There's so many houses. Menu. Oh, that's good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Community info ads. See, so you know people that you know mm -hmm. gone there. 
But okay, just to wrap everything up, you can you can provide that. See, so there's there the same is. guy. There's the homie. <laughs> See, so then, like, you start to know what this guy likes. You message him, him, you figure out more. Then maybe you run across him one day, and you know his name, and then you're, like, that's how stuff, like, happens. You gotta, so to wrap it all together, you could provide websites for people. You could do social media management right here. Their photos all suck. <laughs> you could do um, chat bots. You could do test their messenger see so this is auto unless the same person did both of them because it says what kind of food do you serve that was from that other place exactly yeah so they're the same it's probably templated yeah no on facebook it's templated so mm. look at this guys this looks bomb oh my gosh the jacqueline you know how sick this would be if somebody like repurposed this and made it into like a different type of video like they would love that thing yeah if you exported this like for one of you that's you want to do it or something um you used to be able to do it it's pretty low quality video no but that's what makes it dope that would be dope, dude. If they like, that's There's him, the homie. dude. So oh okay, look, this guy. This is what this video came There's to be the about. Homie this back guy. In the day. This guy was on the the <laughs> Nuno's. He's connected to the Euro Cafe. Now you got. You can figure out his. Oh, it's, if you. So here's his name, probably. If you can find it on Google. He's probably, it's somewhere, I'm sure. I don't watch the new movie, they do it after he talk. Also, master tip, there are all different types of people. There's practical, analytical, emotional, and uh, oh, why did I forget the other one? Practical, analytical, huh? Come on. Practical, that would have been <laughs> fire if I just, boom. <laughs> practical, there's, it's practical, action-based, emotional, emotional, analytical. The specific thing I'm thinking of, it's, I think it's P-A-S-E, practical, action-based, either way I'll remember it and make a video about it but you can listen to how he he speaks and like what like way he the word choices he uses and what he says he like what I got he's like kind of slow he's very like like analytical like Portuguese food is very clean. It comes from the fresh it. Like so, when you're talking, don't don't say, um, don't say something like, "Hey, bro, I saw this funny video of you on on your Facebook page. You should check it." Like, don't come to another way. Like, "Hey, I saw your video from what's the date? From I don't know, November eighth, twenty fourteen." That was about three minutes. Like people, it's so weird, but they're called um, neuro linguistic programming. Like you can literally. Oh, there's his name. Exactly, Portuguese cuisine. Joe Madeira's explains. There's his name. Portuguese food is made from the most precious ingredients from the land and the sea: heavy and seafood, beef, veggies, with the most basic ingredients of wine. Garlic, salt, and pepper. Let's see, very like specific. He seems like it's like that. He doesn't. He didn't go on about it. It was just like it was made from this, this, this. So like when you're talking to him in the sales meeting, you can say, "So we do messenger bots that do open table reservations." 
automate your hours and testimonial reviews. These things mean this, 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 and this, this, that, like, that's how you have to For example, come in on Monday, it's lemon and garlic roasted chicken, the sauté fish, I'm with the sausage, or the list of wine. Okay, so I'll wrap it up there. I could go on forever, but this is what you guys need to do. Like I said, it was just a creative, just, you know, whatever. You can find all kinds of restaurants, different types of places, connect the dots, um, just leverage all the info you have, comment on their stuff, respond back to them. I see nuts, coconut, and chocolate. If I'm right, I definitely devour this. Linda, you're absolutely right. There's Those are like my favorite. There, see, so comment on there, then they're like, oh, these two people. And then you send them a message, and then they're more familiar. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for being in the group, guys. Did you get anything? Did I get anything from this? Of course. All right, a cool. lot. All right. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just, like, you can just find, like, where's he at? Like, what's he doing? What's... Here's another video. A great big thank you. See, okay, there it is again. Yeah, hey, we have the order of Joey Mandero. Joey Mandero. Joey Mandero. So she just Googled it, but for those of you that weren't going to think of that, why did it say? Tapas, was it connected in? How did he say his name? Hey, we're sitting here at Dino's Cafe with the owner, Joey Gutierrez. I know it's true that I didn't know the correct thing. Joey, thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. See, so watch how he is when I go to shake his hand. Look, this is such a hack. You guys will not get this anywhere else. Joey, for us. Look how he okay, so he goes to shake he goes to shake his hand and then he puts the other one. He goes like this. Go. <laughs> Dude, come on, on it like yeah. this. Well she doesn't like shake hands a lot, so she's That's a bro shake. Yeah, but it's like No, you don't come to the side, just Okay. I would not do it if there was another guy here. I would not do it if there was somebody that knew how to properly get in there but i just go like this yeah she just so anyway i'm telling you you look up old tony robbins videos you look up neurolinguistic programming you look up body language all that stuff is like key like and then look at how he does it see so just watch how just watch people. see so he, he puts it out one i didn't even maybe i saw this but he goes What's the other one? Maybe he naturally, because he's probably good at business, does the same thing. So let's see. It is a pleasure. Good friend of mine. See how that looked weird? Because he didn't do what the other guy did. Okay, see? Well, we've been in Claremont for 13 years with our other restaurant, okay. the Euro Cafe. Euro Cafe up the street. And the idea behind Nuno's Bistro and Bar was to create something with the same heritage, the same type of food cuisine, and make it a little bit more refined, add the bar elements, so some creative cocktails, cocktails. and a great marriage, to use the cliche of a bistro and a bar. Tell me about what I should know and what is Portuguese food. Well, Portuguese food is what definitely makes us stand out because we don't get many Portuguese food from. See, so you can. Detail the craftsmanship of. Friends, this is Benino's Bistro and Bar. Joey, that's the club. Thank you for it as well. It's on there. I'm going to give you my next call. You sure you're missing this one, man? See, like, this guy needs video, so I have to do that, but, alright, wrapping it up, you guys gotta do this, send your messages, call people, email them, I don't feel like you, you could if you want to, but, 
just use this and take it for your industry, what you need to do. Hopefully this brought you some value. See you guys. Thanks, everyone. See you.